some window treatments and I'm here doing a designer spotlight with Christine. Hi Christine. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm great. So do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Christine Rizzo. I'm the owner and designer at Shell Bank Interiors. I'm yeah. based in Rockville Center, New York, but I cover all of Nassau County and Western Suffolk and sometimes um, other parts of the tri-state area. So let's start from the beginning. When did you know that you wanted to become an interior designer and how did you know the career choice was for you? Um, well, I since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be an interior designer and actually that's what I went to college for originally. Uh, I went to Purdue University and during my freshman year Purdue actually lost their interior design accreditation. But I love the school so much but I didn't want to get a four-year degree from somewhere that wasn't accredited so I changed my major. So I have um, over 20 years of experience in retail and marketing and then about seven years ago I decided um, to change change and this is actually my second career awesome so you want to bring back that passion yeah i always thought about it i was always you know fixing up my house and helping others and you know i finally took the plunge and mm -hmm. did it so how many years of experience do you have and do you want to talk about um shell bank interiors a little bit how did that start sure um i have about seven years experience when I decided to do this as a second career, I went back to school uh, at Metropolitan uh, Institute of Design and I got my certificate there. Um, Shell Bank Interiors, I first started actually using my name as my business name and then I thought it was boring. So um, I actually moved about five years ago and that at the time was the name of my street and that's what oh. I named it after. I don't live there anymore, but I kept the name. Oh, I love that. So what do you like most about being an interior designer? Is it designing the space or is it more the decorating side? Um, I like decorating a lot. Um, I definitely like space planning too and that's really crucial to making the decorating work. Uh, so they go hand in hand and a lot of people don't really understand how important space planning is and making sure you have enough room to move around and you know, make sure the flow is right. Absolutely. Do you have a signature style that you gravitate toward? I gravitate towards transitional. That's like, um, at, in, in my heart, that's I'm a, tra I'm a transitionalist. Um, but I like all different styles. I like going out of my comfort zone. Um, I like modern styles. I like uh, modern farmhouse. I like traditional. I like everything. And that's kind of what, one of the reasons I like being into your designer because I get to design for other people and I get to explore different styles all the time. Um, so as an interior designer, I'm sure that you probably daydream and conceptualize projects that you would like to take on if there are no restrictions. Um, without a budget or anyone saying no to your ideas, what would you create? I would probably, it would probably be an outdoor space with a, like mm -hmm. a nice pool and like a covered patio type, mm -hmm. type setup. Do you like in your own home try to do projects like that? Um, definitely. Sometimes my husband and I don't see eye and eye, eye to eye, especially on things I want to change. That there's nothing wrong with them, but I just want them to be more of my style. So right. I try as hard as I can. <laughs> so, what have been some of your favorite interior design trends? Trends. I have a love hate relationship with Shiplap. Um, I used to not like it at all. Then I went back and forth, and I actually just recently installed a little bit in my house, so I guess I'm, uh, I guess I'm into it now. Mm -hmm. um, also, I really like wallpaper. Um, I've always been a wallpaper fan. It's really popular now. A lot of people are still scared of it, um, but there's so much you can do, and it adds so much to a room, especially if you're not into patterns. There's You can do grass cloth, which adds a layer of texture. Mm -hmm. Is wallpaper something that's coming back, or has it always been like, a thing because I feel like for the longest time people hated wallpaper and they would tear it off and mm -hmm, it was like mm -hmm. the worst thing and now people are bringing it back. Well I think um, I think it's always been popular especially in traditional homes because a lot of times if you go on Zillow and look at homes a lot of the older homes have like very heavy floral wallpaper that people automatically rip off. Um, now you can get wallpaper in 
any any style, modern style, traditional, contemporary. Um, there's also peel and stick wallpaper that works great for people who don't really want the commitment or the expense. So what is one thing that you would want people to know before they start their home renovations or they want to just refresh their home? Um, know that once you th you might think you want to change one room, but once you start doing that, it kind of snowballs into the surrounding rooms. Um, so really take a look at the whole entire space of where you're where you're working. Like if you want to redo your dining room, if your living room is right next to it, you're probably going to want to refresh that space too. So what do you think is the importance of working with an interior designer? Like have you been to someone's house where they've tried to do it themselves and they just can't handle it or? Sometimes, um, you know, I worked with a lot, I work with a lot of clients that have excellent taste and they, they just need like a few extra, extra touches. And, mm -hmm. um, it's good to work with a designer because sometimes they can get you to think out of the box a little bit and have ideas that you would never think of. We also have lots of resources that are only available to designers. Um, and that's, I mean, there's so much out there that, you know, you, you can't go to Raymore and Flanagan or Bassett or anywhere else to find. Like we can find really unique items for you. Okay. What do you think are the best characteristics to find in an interior designer when someone is searching for one? Definitely someone that you click with, um, someone that you can feel comfortable talking to, that you're not intimidated by, and because you're going to be spending a lot of time, a lot of emails back and forth, a lot of in-person meetings. So you want to make sure you actually like the person and you feel comfortable with them. What does the process of working with you look like? Do you want to take us step by step through that? Sure. Um, usually people contact me through Facebook or Instagram or email and the first step is setting up a consultation. Um, I do charge for consultations but then I take that um, that amount off um, the total bill if you if we wind up working together. So after I meet with you for consultation, then we'll go over we'll go over everything at that meeting, and then I'll come up with a plan and we go from there. What are your socials and how can people reach out to you? Um, I'm Shell Bank Interiors on Instagram and Facebook, and you can reach me through DMs on either of those channels or my email is Christine Rizzo R I Z Z O at shellbankinteriors.com. So I know that you've worked with Homestead Wonder Treatments before, specifically Mark. Um, can you tell everyone a little bit about your experience with us? Uh, working with Homestead is a seamless experience. Um, Mark will come to your home. He will bring, if you tell him in advance what you're looking for, he'll bring fabrics. Um, he's really good at giving you suggestions for your windows. And then everything else that I do with him is through email. And then all of a sudden I get a call, call that my stuff's ready and it's uh, gonna be installed. Um, the workmanship of um, everything has always been fantastic. So thank you so much, Christine, for this. Thank you. This has been so great. Um, you can reach Christine, as she was saying before, on Facebook and Instagram. You should definitely reach out to schedule a consultation. Like us on Facebook at Homestead Window Treatments. Um, subscribe to us on YouTube at Homestead Window Treatments. And follow us on Instagram at Homestead Windows. Also, don't forget to join our interior design group on Facebook called I Love Interior Design Long Island. And if you are an interior designer and you want to be featured next time, please reach out to us. Thanks so much, everyone. Thank Bye. you.